Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect make.com with Gmail. So first of all, what you have to do is open make.com and sign in with your account. So once you're signed in, you have to go to the connections. You will see this dashboard page. So on this page, once you're signed in, you have to click on connections. A new page will open. Click on open scenario builder. Click on it. Now this page will open. From here, what you have to do is type in Gmail. You will see Gmail verified on the top. Click on Gmail and select the trigger. Click on watch emails or any other trigger. Now, what you have to do is click on create a connection. This pop-up window will appear. From here, it will show you some details. So what you have to do is open a new tab of google.com or you have to type in console.cloud.google.com. Hit enter. Now you will land on this page. Now from here what you have to do is select the project. Now click on new project. This page will open. You have to give a name to your project. For instance, I will name it as make.com. Click on create. Now you will land on this page. From here what you have to do is click on API and services. A new page will open. From here you have to click on enable APIs and services. Again a new page will open. From here what you have to do is search for Gmail API. Click on Gmail API. This page will open. Click on Gmail API again. Now what you have to do is simply click on enable. Now this page will open from here. What you have to do is go to the OAuth content screen. Click on it. Now click on get started. You have to give name of the application. For instance, I will name it as make.com. You have to enter or input your email address. Click on next. Click on external. Click on next. Again, input your email address. Click on agree. Click on continue and click on create. Click on create OAuth client. Click on application type and select web application. Enter the name of the application. For instance, I will name it as make.com once again. Now you have to go to the authorized redirect URLs. Click on it and type in HTTPS make.com. Again, add a new URL and type in HTTPS and integromat.com click on create now you will get your client id you have to copy your client id in a safe place maybe you can open a notepad and enter your client id over here click on ok now what you have to do is go to the branding section skip the logo skip the app domain now in the authorized domain section you have to click on add domain and add in make.com add another domain and type in integromat.com check the spelling integromat.com swipe down enter in your developer contact information and simply click on save now after you're done in the branding section what you have to do is go to the data access and click on add or remove scopes now click on the filters and type in gmail api click on gmail api now you will see some gmail apis you have to check some of the options for instance you have to check this google.com modify compose read only metadata insert then you have to go to the next page or you can click on 50 and then you have to check mark the send and labels now click on update. Now after that, what you have to do is go to the audience section, scroll down and click on add test users. Now type in the email of the test user and then click on save. Now click on the hamburger menu on the top left corner and go to the API services and go to the credentials. Now click on create credentials. Click on OAuth client ID. Application type should be web application name should be make.com or you can name it as anything now scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on authorized redirect urls click on add url you have to add in all the urls that have listed in this section you can also take a screenshot and add in all of these uris that i have also entered on this section and then after that you have to click on save now you will successfully get a client id and a client secret what you have to do is copy that client ID. Now go back to make.com and then you have to turn on the toggle called show advanced settings. 
Now here you have to input your client ID and go back to Google Console and copy the client secret, copy that, go back to make.com and paste in your client secret as well. Now click on sign in with Google. A new window will appear, you have to select your Google account. Once you're signed in, you have to select the criteria, select all emails and click on save. And that's simply how you can connect make.com with Gmail. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.